Hey guys, welcome back to the Linux Essentials for Hackers series. In this video, we're going to be talking about file ownership, which is a fairly simple topic to understand. And again, in the previous video, we used the chmod operator uh, or the chmod tool. And in this video, we're going to be using the chown tool again, which is quite uh, self-explanatory. It allows us to change the ownership of files and directories, which is quite important. All right. So as we did in the previous video, uh, you can see that we were able to uh, change the permissions uh, for this uh, the, for the test directory and the test files within it. And I've just changed them back to some pretty standard uh, uh, to, to some pretty standard permissions here. And again, uh, we also had the uh, we also had the, uh, the the test.sh file within the test directory. So uh, let's talk about ownership. So as I mentioned, the current owner of this file uh, right over here is Alexis, and this is de this is uh, denoted uh, right over here. So the ownership information and the group ownership information, if there is any. Now, as I said, uh, we are, we haven't talked about adding users and groups, which is fairly simple. We haven't talked about you know setting particular permissions for users, uh, you know, uh, within the uh, the sudo as file. But that's something we'll get to later. Uh, so, if we wanted to change the ownership of this file uh, to, uh, to 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 let's say the root user, I can do that very very easily. So again, I can say, let me just go into the uh, the root user here. And now I'm currently logged in as the root user. So if I wanted to change the ownership, uh, and I'll go into the test directory, if I wanted to change the ownership of the test.sh file, uh, what I can do now is I can say chown, and again, you can use the what is tool or the what is utility to actually give you some more information about uh, the, uh, the chown tool. So again, it tells you this allows you to change your file owner and group, and of course, change the ownership of a file. All right, so now if I wanted to change the ownership of the test.sh file uh, from Alexis to, to the root user, I can do this very, very easily. So I can say, um, I can say chown, and then I specify the, 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 the user I want to, uh, to actually change the ownership to, in this case, to the root user. And then I'll specify the file name, which is going to be test.sh, and I hit enter. And now if I list all the files here, you can see that the owner of the file has been changed to root. However, the group of this file is still Alexis. All right. So that's something that we also have to change to change the group uh, to change the group owner here. Uh, it's very simple. We use the change group command, which again is denoted by uh, it is denoted by change grp, so chgrp, and again, we can use the what is tool, change grp, hit enter, and this allows you to change group ownership. So let's say we want to change the group ownership uh, to root as well, or to the root group. Uh, if we type in groups and we say root, again, that tells us what, uh, what, what group the root user belongs to. And as you can see, it belongs to the root, uh, to, to the root group. Uh, and again, we can say groups Alexis, and uh, you can see these are the groups that the user Alexis belongs to. It belongs to the uh, to the group Alexis, ADM, CD-ROM, sudo, etc., etc. All right. So let's say I wanted to change the group of this file. So change group, um, and then I say change it to the group root, and I want you to change the file test.sh. And now, if we list the permissions here or the ownership, sorry. Um, uh, we, we can see now that the owner of the file is the root user and the the group ownership of this file belongs to the to, 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 to the group uh, to, to the root group right over here. All right. So that is how to use the ch own and the ch uh, group or the change group command to change the ownership of a file. Now, again, we haven't experimented with users yet, and that's something we'll be touching upon uh, quite soon. So we'll be explaining this as we move along. So that's going to be it for this video.